I promise to never include phallic shaped bath and body goods in the box. again with another unboxing. Sorry if you hear stomping. They are cleaning out the apartment above me because the girl up there just moved out and they're being really loud. And also you'll probably hear my AC because it's 100 degrees here in Dallas. Today I'm going to be unboxing the August edition of the Lit Love box. The theme for August was book boyfriends. If you do not know, I run the Lit Love box. It is a monthly bookish subscription for new adult and young adult readers. Our target audience is anywhere from 13 to 28. If the book will have more mature themes and or scenes in it, I do put that notice on the listing for each box. I don't do the recurring billing, so you're not getting a three, six, nine, 12 month subscription. You're purchasing each individual box that you want. So you're not going to be paying for a box that you may not be interested in. We have just launched international shipping. If you live in Canada, you can get a box shipped to you for $10.50 US dollars, flat rate no matter where you are in Canada. If you're anywhere else in the world, it is $16.50 USD, flat rate shipping per box. Don't forget that each month I pre-list each box for $25 for about a week before I bump it up to the regular price of $35. Also, we don't do just book boxes. We also do bookish apparel and accessories. So the shirt I'm currently wearing, which says bookish vibes only in this really comfy cotton Bella and canvas t-shirt. It is available in our, on our website. I've just listed a bunch of Sarah J Moss designs on t-shirts and hoodies and tote bags for the Kingdom of Ash release, but we've got mugs, we've got pillows, we've got phone cases, tote bags, hats, shirts, t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, sweatshirts, all of that sort of stuff. All of our t-shirts are $23, regardless of if it's a tank top, a t-shirt, a crop top, a long sleeve shirt, uh, and there's no increase in the price just for an increase in the size, because as somebody who wears an XL to 2XL in a lot of brands, having to pay an extra two to three dollars just to get a shirt that fits me really didn't seem fair. So all of our shirts, regardless of size, are $23. The hoodies are $35 because they just cost a little bit more to get printed. Um, I believe hats are $20, $25. Tote bags are $20, $25. So we have a bunch of Sarah J Maas, Harry Potter. I have a beautiful Cruel Prince tote bag design, which I'll pop up here for you to see. I love this. It's I, I'm going to get one for myself. We also have book scented candles. The Lit Love box is not just the gift box that you get every month. We have so much more that you can add to your experience with us. We are in the process of going through a branding change from Lit Love box to Lit Love shop. I'm getting a new logo made. I'm gonna be making a new website that will really encompass that we are no longer just this monthly subscription box. But with that said, Let's open up the August Book Boyfriends box. Transitional music. Okay, so like I said, the theme for August was Book Boyfriends. The goal for me really was to showcase some of my personal favorite book boyfriends and maybe others that don't really get that much love. So the first person that I thought of, obviously, was Resand from A Court of Mist and Fury and that whole that whole series. So we have a Resand inspired bookmark that says you cruel wicked thing. Uh, the bookmark is of course from our favorite returning vendor Bookish Boutique Co. She is wonderful and provides a lot of bookmarks for us and they are great quality. The next book boyfriend gets two items because they just went so well together. Our first one is a tea by Simply Bookish Co. And it is Rowan Whitethorn from the Throne of Glass series inspired. And you get this little bag, which I believe could do, she said three to four servings, so you don't put all of this in at one. And it is a black tea with oolong, peppermint, lemongrass, and spearmint. So it should smell and taste exactly how we think our old buzzard will smell and taste, which sounds really dirty. The next Rowan Whitethorn inspired thing is from another one of our returning vendors, Elisa J Designs, and she has provided a beautiful tea infuser. It comes in this wonderful little bag, and when you pull it out of its wonderful little bag, you get this little tea infuser, which obviously you put your tea in there, clip it shut, and it's got these little charms on it. There's a hawk and some little beautiful gems, and then there's a hook on it. 
so that you can hook it on the edge of your mug so that it will steep. The next item was for one of the book boyfriends that was one of the OG book boyfriends when I was in high school. Everybody loved him, but nowadays he doesn't really seem to get that much love because I believe his time has come and gone as a book boyfriend, so he's a little bit of a throwback. And that is this, I'm gonna open it, because I need one for myself anyway. It is a tea towel that when you open it, it says, Bakers do it better, Pita Malark from The Hunger Games. So this tea towel is from Lightbox Gifts. It is a very sturdy, very absorbent tea towel to be used with alongside your tea and tea infuser. The next and last item for this box, which we do try to include anywhere from four to six items per box, depending on the value. This is one of my favorite items we've ever done. It is a candle, I believe it's a nine ounce jar candle. I think these are nine ounces. I'm pretty sure that these are nine ounces. And it is High Warlock of Brooklyn from Lunar Bazaar. So this is a Magnus Bane inspired candle. Wait, it smells like bergamot, spice, sandalwood, and fierceness. Also, this label is just beautiful. But what makes this candle so special is when you, when you open it, there's glitter on it. And it smells so good. I just for Booktubeathon reread the City of Bones, City of Glut, whatever, the first one in the whole Shadowhunters debacle. And by the way, I failed obscenely at Booktubeathon. My window leaked again, and then it's just uh, we got really busy at work. So I was not able to read as much as I wanted. Just the daily videos just. They seemed so repetitive, so I just wasn't wasn't about that life. But the first book that I did for Booktubeathon was the first book in the Shadowhunters thingamajig because she's got the series and then another series and then another series and then I just... I don't understand it. But I realized that the only character I liked from that book was Magnus Bane. So I'm really glad he got in the book boyfriend's box, especially because he's a book boyfriend with a book boyfriend. Last and certainly not least for the August Book of Boyfriends box is the book. Now usually we try our best to get signed books because we work pretty much exclusively with indie authors, self-published authors. Because of where this author is located in the world, she's from South Africa, she was not able to sign the books. She had them printed in America and shipped directly to me. So the August book was not signed but she did write a two-page letter. Each person who purchased the August box got a two-page letter from the author in regards to her process, herself, the book, life. It was a very beautiful letter, so that kind of is how we made up best we could for not being able to have a signed book for this month. But our book is Hushed by Joanne McGregor. This is a Little Mermaid inspired story, and it's this beautiful purple color. You know me, I love fairy tale retellings, I love Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid. There's a reason that my hair is red and it's because my spirit animal is Ariel. Although the older I get, the more I relate to Sebastian, which is concerning. This is just a gorgeous cover. It's so pretty and it's gonna go perfectly in with the purple on my rainbow shelf, which you cannot see any bit of the rainbow shelf from where we are right now, really. So that is the August Book of Boyfriends Lit Love box. The September box is up for purchase and it is themed best friends. The October box that's coming up is listed for sale on our website and it is at the $35 rate already, but it is probably one of the boxes I'm most excited to find things to put in um, and to work on because the theme for October is greater than these bones. And it is going to feature the characters that are suffering from mental illness, physical disability, terminal disease, um, addiction, anything like that, that you are a stronger person for having had to deal with. As somebody who suffers with anxiety, this is something that's really near and dear to my heart. We're going to feature characters from books like Me Before You, and Eliza and Her Monsters, and Throne of Glass, and The Fault in Our Stars. There's just going to be a lot in there for this box because our goal is that if you think that you are struggling with these things, like if you have anxiety or you have depression or you have any form of mental illness or you have any sort of physical disability or you have some sort of medical issue and you think that there's just no hope for you, that you are not the first person to go down this path, you are not going down this path by yourself, there are other people helping you down this path. 
it wasn't until I read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell where Kath really contextualized her anxiety and I had always heard of anxiety and I'd always heard of depression and I was like that doesn't sound like me that doesn't I don't relate to that at all and then I read Fangirl and Kath is like I'm struggling so much with my anxiety and everything she was struggling with and all of the concerns she had that resonated with me and it wasn't until I read that book that I really understood what was happening in my brain and I've been able to deal with it so much better now. I really hope that by showcasing these to more people, it will do that for other people. I, we're also working, there is a person that I went to high school with that I got into contact with. He has started his own clothing brand as a result of his own horrible downward spiral into depression and self-destruction. Now he is a fit, personal fitness trainer and huge into this bodybuilding and weightlifting community and he has started a apparel brand and it's called painted face apparel i'm not going to be able to put shirts in all of the boxes but he has given us something slightly smaller that are going in all of these boxes his whole message is you don't have to paint your face on and pretend to be happy when you're not okay it is okay to be not okay so this october box is one that is really near and dear to my heart and i'm so excited for this box to come out. There was a book that I got at BookCon that I read and I knew that I wanted to put it in a box and really showcase the story that it had and the issues that it addressed. We just, we struggled and we struggled to come up with a name for the theme that wasn't pandering and it didn't seem like we were talking about the wrong thing. And so finally I fell back into listening to Halsey, who is like my favorite musical artist. I love her so much. She has not produced a song that I do not like. Her music really resonates with me uh, and it inspires a lot of the writing projects that I've worked on. I fell back into it and she has this song called Control and it's really this beautiful metaphor for mental illness about you have all of these demons inside your brain trying to take control of you who's really in control. There's a line where she goes, I'm bigger than my body, I'm bigger than these bones. We really, we took that a little bit and changed it to make it our own so we got greater than these bones for these for this theme because really you are greater than the body you were given. Your body is just the wrapping around the person that you are. Or we're hoping that this box and this message and this story and everything that we're putting into it reaches people who maybe need to be reached. That was a bit more of a preachy moment and storytelling than I anticipated. If you liked any of the stuff that you saw in the August box, we still have some available. You can still buy the August box. You can still buy the September Best Friends box and you can definitely still purchase the October Greater Than These Bones box. But there's some really great things that are going to be happening with the Lit Love box and the Lit Love shop. So make sure that you're following us on Instagram and Facebook and all of those places. We have a Twitter that just never gets used because I just never remember about Twitter. I constantly forget about Twitter, which means I missed out on the Illyrian uh, penis soap controversy. I promise, I promise to never include phallic shaped bath and body goods in the box. The books open all the boxes and be best friends. Bye guys.